science fans! I'm Ryan from the Saskatchewan Science Center. Thank you so much for joining me today on Science at Home, where we do cool science demonstrations with things that you probably already have laying around. Today, we're gonna explore the wonderful world of oobleck. So what do you call a liquid that's not a liquid, at least not all of the time? Well, the scientific term for that is a non-Newtonian fluid. Some people call it oobleck, after the Dr. Seuss book, Bartholomew and the oobleck. Centuries ago, Sir Isaac Newton proposed that all liquids should behave in certain constant predictable ways. So think about water. If you're swimming in water, it doesn't matter if you're swimming fast or if you're swimming slowly, the water should always flow around you in the same way. Fluids that perform in this way are called Newtonian fluids. Look at this dish of water that I have here. If I stir my spoon in it, the water flows around the spoon. It doesn't matter if I go slowly or quickly, the water always moves around it. I can dip my fingers into it slowly and my fingers will sink down to the bottom. And if I take my hand and I smash it down quickly, it reacts in the same predictable way and flows all over the place. However, not all fluids perform in the same way. And those fluids are called non-Newtonian fluids. And I'm gonna show you how to make one today. What I have in this bowl are about two cups of cornstarch. And we're gonna make oobleck. In order to do that, you need about equal amounts of cornstarch and water. Maybe if you have about a cup of cornstarch, you're gonna want to start with about three quarters of a cup of water. So we're just gonna mix this all together. And what you're looking for is a fluid that is not really grainy. So just keep adding a little bit of water at a time until you get to the consistency that you're looking for. Might take us a minute. So as you mix this, you'll notice that your spoon can still go into it and all the way down to the bottom. Um, if I pick it up, I can stick my finger into it and my finger will float down to the bottom. And I can even pick up a spoonful of it and pour it out just like I could with regular water. But one of the things that you'll find that's unique about oobleck is that if I were to hit this pie plate hard like this, it actually gets more viscous. It gets very firm and pushes back on me. It moves from becoming a liquid into a solid, just for a moment. In fact, I can even pick some of this up and form it into a ball in my hand. But when I stop spinning it, it completely turns back into a liquid. All right, so what's the science here? Well, as I apply pressure to the oobleck, the molecules of the cornstarch get pushed together really closely, trapping the water molecules in between them, giving them nowhere to go. So while I'm applying that pressure, it effectively acts as a solid. Scientists don't exactly know why this happens, but it's something that they're very interested in researching because there are a lot of really interesting scientific uses for this. For example, you could make very, very comfortable body armor for first responders, or you can make a very fast way to fill potholes. This cornstarch and water mixture isn't the only non-Newtonian fluid, or even the most famous. In fact, if you've ever had French fries, you're probably familiar with another non-Newtonian fluid, and that's ketchup. Ketchup is also a non-Newtonian fluid, but it behaves a little bit differently. With this cornstarch and water mix, the more pressure I apply to it, the thicker it becomes. With ketchup, when you apply pressure to it, it actually becomes thinner. That's why it's easier to get ketchup out of a plastic squeeze bottle than it is to get it out of a hard glass bottle. Well, thank you so much for joining us here at Science at Home today. I hope that you're gonna give this demonstration a try. It's a lot of fun. And if you do try it, please feel free to share some of your pictures or videos with us here at the Science Center.
If you'd like to see more of these kinds of demonstrations, visit us on the web at sasksciencecenter.com.